The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. <clears throat> okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. I posted the uh, information about Tom O'Brien's time trading, timing the trade seminar on June the tenth. Uh, you could spend, spend the whole day with him, folks. That's certainly worth every penny you could possibly pay for it. He really knows stocks really well, and uh, he knows futures well too. So anyway, it's be a great show for you to increase your uh, trading knowledge. Now, I've got a little bit of a human interest story to tell you, folks. We are going to have a three-year-old this week. Uh, he's got a birthday coming up in a few days. And so they live in Philadelphia. And so I, he loves fire trucks. So I searched around to find the very best toy fire truck that I could possibly get. And I did find one. It was about 75 bucks, which is pretty expensive for a toy. But it's a fire truck that comes along with six other smaller fire trucks, you know, support vehicles, you know, CMT and stuff like that. It comes in a pretty good sized box. And they were coming home from a camping trip, and the box was there on the front door. And, uh, of course, he realizes that his birthday is coming, and, of course, he's asking all kinds of questions. And his dad says, yes, that's your birthday present, but you don't get it for a few more days. Okay, okay. So last night uh, they were at dinner, and they were all having some fun. They were watching a movie, and about someone said, where's Zany, the little guy? He, they couldn't find him anywhere. And so they started looking for him and calling his name, and they couldn't find him anywhere. And Kelvin says, I think I know where he is. So they went up on the third floor uh, where the bedrooms were, and he, <laughs> he was in the closet, folks, in the, in the dark closet, believe it or not. And he's taking his little plastic scissors, okay, and he had pried away little by little, little by little, to get inside the box to see what was in the box. And, of course, he had opened a little a little opening there of about six inches and he was able to get his little hand in there and pull out one of the the little uh die cast uh fire trucks and uh, just then his dad opened the door and there he was sitting there in the dark and he looked up at his dad and said it was an accident <laughs> when i heard that I said, oh, boy, is this good. he's got to be an attorney when he grows up. Anyway, I, I laughed so hard when I thought that. He is so clever. They speak both Chinese and English in the family, so he knows both languages uh, you know, equally well. So it's really quite good. Let's talk a little bit about the markets. Uh, one of them that's really in trouble, folks, uh, I want to uh, bring this up to you to show you, uh, you, you. Most of you already know it, and then I have a little confession to make here about something that I – did that I'm not too happy about. Anyway, this was the 382 the other day, if you remember. We gapped down here yesterday. We had a big three-point break off the high. We rallied almost exactly back to the 382 this morning at 140.03, folks. We got to 140 even, and then we broke two handles to the downside. The bond market is in big trouble, folks. I don't know whether the Fed is playing with the market or it can't do anything about the market. All I know is it's looking very, very bad from that point of view. By the way, my guest today will be Rich Anderson. We're going to be talking about the grains part of the day and especially the second half of the day. So you don't want to miss that because we're having some really serious corrections here in these grain markets. But that's not unexpected. We'll, we'll cover that in just a minute. Okay, now let's move on to something that I did. And I want to explain to you, those of you that uh, – and I – you know, it's a hard explanation to do, but just give me a second – I want to talk to you about crude oil, folks. If you remember yesterday, our trade of the day, of course, was selling crude up at that 119.50 level. That was right up in this level right up in here, and it had a break. You can see it has an A, B, C, D, perfect A, B, C, D down right here. Folks, that's a perfect A, B, C. At that point, we have a profit between 119 and 114. That's a $5,000 profit. So my assumption was, and I sent this out long before it happened, none of this had happened yet. So I said, let's sell the 382 retracement. Okay, we'll put a stop right above the 50%. And if we get filled, we're going to give back a lot of money. We'll still make around just a little under two grand, but we're going to be giving back about $3,000 worth of profits. 
Well, that's exactly what happened. The market went up. You'll never guess where it went to, folks. Exactly to the 61% retracement at 17.11774, and then it's broke another uh, dollar and a half, almost two dollars down from that level. The, the the, the frustration that I have is, folks, when I'm trading a 15-minute chart, there is absolutely no way that I can get out the information of what I think is happening compared to what could be happening to you. So you've got to be able to, you know, manage some of this yourself. And I told the folks, you, if if we if we're right on this, and this was a 382, that's a $20,000 move from the high here down to the low, which would come down. At around one one oh nine. I mean, this is this is why I did it. I mean, I think I, I would do it over and over again. But again, you know, I don't have any control over what the markets are going to do. I can see them pretty clearly on a fifteen minute chart. But when you put the order out and you said, well, this is what we got to look at, that could take anywhere from fifteen to thirty minutes. And my goodness, these markets can move around so much. And that's exactly what happened. We went right up to the sixty one percent retracement and then back down again. So how do I handle that? Basically, folks, I shake it off. The reason why is, and I'll show you the next chart that we want to cover, is something we've been waiting for for a very long time here, and that number was 1825 uh, in the gold market. Let's get this up here so we'll be able to see it. One second here. All righty, here we go. Okay, now this is... June gold. Now, this is we put the trade on. June was still the active month. We sold it short right there. You'll see we had the big ABCD down in here. We were buying that low, that big ABCD right there at the bottom. The market rallied up to the 382 over a period of almost two day, uh, two weeks. And then it started its way down. And you can see the perfect Gartley pattern right here in the June gold at 1825. And the low today was 1825.30. It market rallied uh, around 25 bucks, $2,500. It's given a little of it back. But the way you handle that is if you bought that low, you want to lock in at least a $500 profit. So you'd run a raise your stop up to 1830 so that you protect $500, much like in the, in the crude oil. You don't know which ones are going to work and which ones don't. And the biggest part of trading, folks, is once the trade is over, my goodness, forget it and go on, go on to the next one. Look, look at Tiger Woods. You know, he's been playing a little better than usual, but still very, very poorly. Do you think he throws his clubs in the, in the water and then, you know, gives up? No. He just gets out another club and tries something else. And that's what you got to do in trading. You know, you got to shake off that loss or profit even and move on to the next trade. That's the, that's the one that you want to be uh, paying very, very close attention to. So that's I, that's the key to hold this whole thing is risk control. And if you learn the patterns as far as what they should do as far as risk control, you're going to be far better off than if you're sitting there, you know, trying to beat yourself up because you did something wrong. Hey, you didn't do anything wrong in crude oil. You made just a little under $2,000. Not many people can do that. But uh, that's uh, neither here nor there. So that's uh, the psychology behind that. Uh, believe me, I... I, do I feel bad about it? Absolutely not, because we had a chance at something big. They paid us a little bit, and the other chance will be there soon. We'll just wait for the next bus. 877-927-6648. inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ.
You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the Opening Call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Call, call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I posted the chart of the euro. Uh, if you'll notice here that we had the uh, sell signal up here at the 3A2 retracement right here. After a two-week rally, we went right up to the 3A2 of the high that we made way back here uh, in March. Okay, sets up perfectly. But what I wanted to show you is these beautiful ABCD patterns. As you can see here, the last one completing right down here. But look at this. The market rallies for five or six days with about as weak a rally as you could possibly get and then breaks down. That that makes these ABCD patterns failures, folks. So that's why they're good for predictive purposes, but they're also good for risk control. And that's what the whole reason behind this is. Once you go below this low right here, after this five-day rally, that is not a good sign. And as you can see, we do come down further and then we rally over the next two weeks exactly up to the 61 percent retracement now it's important at least from my perspective if you're going to trade the euro or any of the currencies you know especially the euro because it's so heavily weighted in the dow in the index for the dollar index what you want to be able to do is to watch the dollar index i i don't trade the dollar index folks i i haven't for years i basically trade the major cross rates you know, that we all know, you know, the pound, yen, Swiss, uh, Canadian, uh, Australian, and uh, British pound. Anyway, this is what we're looking at here. You'll see when the, when the euro was topping yesterday, you can see there is the 382 retracement of the low going back to March, right around that eclipse, at the same price at 0.382. So if it's a PA, if it's a, if it's a 382 point, in the, in the dollar index coming down, then it must be a significant number on the euro going up, and that's what had happened. The euro was going exactly to 382. It took 10 days for the euro to make the 382, and now you can see the dollar index is starting to move, and also the euro is starting to move. The euro is up well over $1,700 now, folks, in a margin that's only 2,000, so that's a good return on margin. now. The $64 question, am I adding to there? No, I'm not adding to there at all. And the reason was is that I can only juggle so many balls at one time. And believe me, I've got so many balls in the air. We had uh, a big move in crude oil, a big move in gold. We covered the short stocks yesterday. Uh, we're looking to you know, go get short stocks some more. 
Uh, we missed the bonds today by three pips, uh, and the gold was a, was a really good one. So that's, uh, you know, and the losers, if we have them, you know, they're going to keep them uh, keep them relatively small. This is the way we like to uh, trade it. Now, let's take a look here. Now, this basically, you know, this is the week of the queen over in the UK. So uh, it's, it's basically a holiday week over there. The markets are, I believe, either open part time or even closed on Thursday and Friday. But uh, let's take a look here uh, at the FTSE since we've got this up in the air right now. We'll get up here to take a quick look at the old FTSE here. They're getting ready for the Queen. You can see the celebration in the ABCD here in the uh, FTSE. And so that's exactly what we've had so far going on in the FTSE. But they are, it's a holiday type week. I mean, it's not an official holiday, but a Thursday and Friday, I believe it is, uh, that the markets are closed or only open part time. They're open regular time now, but there's really, really light volume. People just take the whole week off, much like they do <clears throat> the first week in February in China, which is uh, the workers' week, I think, is, uh, is what they call it. Now, this going back, another reasoning for, my, uh, for putting on the, uh, the extra short in the, in the crude oil, selling it back on a 382 retracement, what, and I'll show you why. This is the... Uh, this is the largest ETF for crude oil. Energy, it's basically an energy ETF. But you can see here, we have the big ABCD form right up there. You can see the 1.618 expansion. Yesterday's volume, big volume day to the downside. Uh, that signifies that something's happened in that oil market, at least from the, the uh, ETF standpoint. So that is, and you can see uh, a beautiful three drive to a top period over the last uh, Three weeks, just absolutely beautiful ABCD. So you've got a three drive to a top pattern. You've got a double ABCD, and you've got this larger ABCD. So you had three things to tell you that, hey, this is where you want to play from the short side. And as you can see, that's what happened. That's what I was looking at, along with the looking at the uh, the crude oil contract. As we said, the crude oil should top at around 119.54. It went 40 pips higher. And believe me, folks, those 40 pips were over in 10 seconds. The market went up and down so fast you wouldn't even believe. If you hadn't known your stop was there and our stop was uh, about 30 points higher than that, you'd have never known why you got filled. But that's neither here nor there. So as we see this market topping now, my strategy will be I'm not going to do anything more on the crude today. So I'll be watching the next day or so to see what my next level is going to be. And that's what I do. I move on to the next trade and not worry about whether it's going to be a winner or a loser or anything like that. All I'm trying to do is to find a situation where I don't have to risk very much to see if I can make a dollar. And I do that by watching 15-minute, 30-minute, and hourly charts. And believe me, I find a lot of them every day. Do I take them all? Absolutely not. I'm looking for three or four good ones, and those are the ones that I would like to be looking at today. Now, the only thing that I did differently today is that I didn't sell the 61% retracement up in the uh, crude oil because I actually had fallen asleep at the at the uh, at the uh, monitor here this morning because I was up uh, very early this morning around 2:30 uh, working on a position in that crude oil that looked like it was going to be absolute perfect. It sold right up to the 382. It backed off a thousand dollars, folks. So you know you had a huge profit and it ended up not being so much huge so that's uh that's the way it goes you you can't you you can't think about the tr the trades that go by because those are over folks you got to look at the future and what's next and what's next is we've got a big buying opportunity coming in these grains and when we come up to the break here rich anderson is going to be uh, chatting with us and we're going to go over some of these grain charts to let you folks uh, take a look at it so i think we're making some new lows here somewhere and that is in the Dow Jones. Yep. And also, wow, boy, oh, boy. You talk about a market that is under pressure, folks. Uh, this wheat market is flat out under pressure like you can't believe. It's uh, How much is it down today? Oh, my goodness. Down another 30 cents. Shut the front door and raise the rent. I'm going to bring this one up to, up to let you take a look at it because we're going to be talking to Rich about it in just a second and get me get up the daily here because uh, we're really breaking down good now that's what I want to see hold on here get this one up and we'll be ready to go 
Okay. And, okay, you can see it right here. We'll have Rich on at the break here. This will, We'll start out talking about the wheat market so we can get a pretty good idea of what it means. Stop and think, folks. This was $3 a bushel higher just a little while ago. Are you kidding me? Shut the front door and raise the rent. Well, let's move on here to the next one here, and we'll see what's going on. Hold on one second, and I'll get this up. And uh, we'll be right back with Rich Anderson. Anderson Capital Management. <laughs> If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. Tom O'Brien has just announced a live Timing the Trade webinar Friday, June 10th from 9 a.m. until 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Join Tom O'Brien for five hours of live education as he teaches you his trading methodology right from his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System. In this live webinar, Tom O'Brien will be teaching you his entire trading system, including quality volume, ABC structures, Fibonacci confluence zones, cause and effect, swing points, and more. We will be limiting this class to 40 attendees, so please do not delay and reserve your seat today for this special live event with Tom O'Brien. All attendees will also receive a physical copy of his book, The Art of Timing the Trade, an $88 value, mailed to you, along with a free month of his daily newsletter, Market Insights, a $169 value. For all the details and to reserve your seat today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks. We're talking with, I believe, Rich Anderson, Anderson Capital Management. Rich, how are you doing Good today? Good morning, Larry. Rich, there's a bloodbath Here. going over on the wheat market. What's going on over there, buddy? Well, um, you, you, you know, uh, remember when I was on at the Olympics for about then, and I said Russia would invade. Uh, February, then. I certainly well, did always remember. Got to be re reading between the lines. What they, but basically, what they did is the Russians signaled that um, in exchange for relief of the economic sanctions, they would allow free trading of uh, the Black Sea, free transport uh -huh. in the Bla Black Sea. The problem is that uh, you, you can't trust them. I mean, when they were trying to evacuate people out of the Maripol, they keep lying. But they released a, a, a telephone conversation between Edoran of um, Turkey and Putin, and that's what caused this break. 
Now, the, 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 the funds have been getting out massively. You know, they're down to uh, mid-December of uh, last year's uh, open interest <coughs> levels in the major, you know, wheat, corn, beans, and the products, oil, and meal. Uh, you know, they liquidated 74,000 contracts last week. So this has been going on for some time. If you look at the bear spread, they'll tell you that it's been going on. But if you look at the cash market, you know, we might have gone down, but cash wheat's trading 20% over the board. Wow. You know, it's not like tell, you can buy yeah. that board price and get delivery. Tell, so tell the, the folks the what that, yeah. Tell the folks what that means, folks. When uh, Tell the folks what that means, Rich, when it's where cash wheat is saying over the board. Do you want to tell them what that means? Well, the, the, the actual end users that actually need that are willing to pay a whole lot more than the board price. Uh-huh, but they, need they need it, it now. It. Yeah, that's right. They need it now. You're right. And 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 yet, let's take let's take opening up the ports. The Ukrainians, in order to ship anything out of the ports that they still hold, mainly Odessa, they'd have to uh-huh. get all the mines out of there. Well, that would just allow the Russians to be able to invade at any time. So that you know uh-huh. they're not going to do that. Supposedly, I look for in between the lines. Supposedly, a ship left Maripol, which the Russians now control, with a load of metal for Russia today. Uh-huh. It could be propaganda. Who knows? I mean, you don't even know if these ports have electricity, you know, the transportation <laughs> to the ports. Uh, Ukraine has the first shipment of wheat to Romania. It's being loaded to be shipped overseas, so it has to rail to Romania and then load it onto boats. Uh, it's it's making for a, a big mess. Uh, the Russians are doing fine because they've got the high oil price, even with all these sanctions, but it is pinching. So there's, there's another thing. Putin obviously is feeling the pressure because he made this, you know, conversation with Erdogan and... Uh-huh. Then another thing that I saw was two legislators of the Russian, one of the Russian meetings, challenged basically by saying, you know, this is this is hurting us badly. We need to stop this. No one had, and these are legis, you know, these are people that are, hold office. No one had been willing to challenge the president up to this time. Uh-huh. I thought that was significant. I think that tells you that there's ground support to push back at Putin and that maybe he's losing his grip and he understands he's losing his grip. But, you know, even if this thing were over today, you know, you got all these mines to clear, you got rails to fix, you got roads to fix. Then on top of that, down Argentina, the the Argentine farmers selling uh, their beans at about 25% slower than last year because they're afraid of inflation. I mean, I, I have a friend who works in Brazil. They get quarterly cost of living increases in Brazil. I mean, it's 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 just crazy. Yeah. So yeah, we're going to have these high oil prices. That, keep in and and the, the crop, the grain markets were up. On the other thing was getting the crops planted. Well, the crops are mostly getting planted. And even in 2019, when we had trouble getting the crops planted, and we ended up we didn't have as much acreage as we thought. The market still sold off until we got this report on June 30th. And then we really won't know what's been planted in India, Russia, yeah. and China until July or August. So the, those are uncertainties. So you've got to be careful. Let the markets flush and rinse. And then see some kind of a setup. And, and there will be another opportunity. But you don't stand in front of liquidation. You don't try and catch a falling knife. That's, yeah, that, you know, that uh, has the, between been, yeah. the lines, what I read out of, of Russia and in Turkey and what I know, you know, what they say and what you can actually do are two whole different things because you just don't yeah. turn the switch on and all of a sudden you're exporting grain out of, out of the Ukraine. Yeah, well, that's one of the reasons why we're technicians, Rich. That tells us whether the markets are going to go one direction or not. So I posted a chart in here of a beautiful three-drive pattern that we had over the weekend in the uh, July soybeans. It's just absolutely perfectly symmetrical, and the beans have broken well over 70 cents, almost a dollar a bushel, actually, in two days, which is a tremendous amount. But I, I'm with you, Rich. I think you got to be looking for a place to buy these because – 
this is just someone that has been over leveraged or whatever the funds might have to have happened you know if they have to start liquidating and once this liquidation is over you got to start looking for a place to you know where the charts are telling you you have value that that's what i think i'm I think long term we're looking at inflation that's going to last several years. This doesn't get over overnight, that's for sure. Oh, absolutely. But you know, take a look at the 2019 grain charts, and and you know we have corrections at this time of the year yep. until you get verified acreage of of this crop and that crop, and and uh, you know Minneapolis wheat. Now I don't have any quotes right now because my wife's on the. Uh, using all of our bandwidth for an investment meeting on a very large endowment. But um, in any case, the Minneapolis wheat I heard had been down. Well, you know, that's one of the markets that I'd watch very closely uh -huh. because, they, they, you know, they've got issues. And it, I think it's going to be interesting, but it, it, you've got to let a week or two pass. You've you got to let this market flush out, calm down, and then you – Take your positions with intelligent risk. You know, Rich, how big, risk. How, how big is the Minneapolis wheat market compared to Chicago Board of Trade? Fra you know what the fractional? Percent? It's nothing. It's fractional. nothing. You know, okay. they, 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 yeah, the, right. there's like 20 guys that sit behind screens and they call that the floor. It's 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 a non event, <laughs> but that but that's where the you know that's one of the biggest opportunities I see. Yeah. I mean, th this will be the lowest planting in North Dakota. On record, it looks like. Yeah. I mean, they, you know, B Burke had a, a blizzard what a week and a half ago out in North. Yeah, Canada. yeah, yeah. It, I know. It, it, it's brutal. Yeah. It was eighty-five degrees in Denver. The next day, they had six inches of snow or something like that. My daughter said, "I mean, it's just crazy." Yeah, it's you know that's uh, this, this is uh, you know this, and they grow wheat in, in uh, Colorado also. Yeah. So that's that's what's going on. But the funds are just getting out and. Yeah. You, you know, that, that, <clears throat> you, if you want to establish positions, you let the market settle down. Take a look at how it took you yeah. know weeks in 2019. You'll see kind of how yeah. these things shake out and then how they reappear again. Uh -huh. yeah, I don't think this thing is over, but it, it's uh, it's shaking a lot of people. And if you're not controlling your risk, amen you to that, know. brother. Amen to that. Hey, Rich Anderson, Anderson Capital Management. Always good to talk to you, Rich. Stay on the green side of the grass, right. buddy. You bet. Okay. We'll be right back, folks. 877-927-6648. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD. Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. All right, folks, we're back. Uh, we're going to have as our guest tomorrow, Stan Harley of the Harley Stock Market Letter will be our guest on Thursday uh, and on Friday. Oh, dear. Shane Mann, the wolf trader, will be on. And, folks, I've seen people on fire in these markets before, but this boy is uh, hes in the zone. Uh, he's done a fabulous job, short bonds, short stocks. I mean, he's just, uh, just been really just doing great. So he's going to be our guest uh, on Friday. Now, I posted the chart here of the soybean market. That's a perfect ABCD, folks, in time and price. Number of bars up, number of bars up. You can see the three drive pattern. And that's why I'm a technician, folks. You know, I call Rich to give us an explanation of what the heck's going on. Uh, but frankly, you know, it doesn't make any difference. You have to trade what the charts are telling you to do. And that's what I try to do. You remember just two or three weeks ago, three weeks ago, we had wheat trading limit up at $13 a bushel. Now it's $10 a bushel, and you can't find anybody that wants to buy it. Hello, operator. There's something wrong with this picture. You know, this is why, you know, pattern recognition swing trading gives you some slight advantage. Now, is it uh, an unbeatable advantage? Of course not. We lose all the time. But the thing is, we go right on to the next trade. And that's what we're waiting for is to see which patterns are going to work and which patterns aren't. That's what it's all about. You're not going to be right 100% of the time. One of the greatest frustrations in life, and one of the absolute, Tony Robbins talks about this, one of the keys to absolute discouragement and failure is to try to please everybody. That is not going to happen, folks. So you've seen that in your family or whatever you want to look at. I mean, that's just not going to happen. So you've got to be able to... You know, find your niche in life, whatever it happens to be, whatever pattern it is or methodology. You know, moving averages work, uh, stochastics will work. If you use them in conjunction with risk control, all of that stuff will work. You just got to find one that you feel comfortable with, and that's what uh, that's what you're looking at. Now, I said yesterday that I'll be watching these grains very closely, you know, for a potential buy. But, you know, we're uh, after the big down move yesterday, you know, uh, I have to wait. Let me just show you, folks, just to give you a rough idea of how how big a break we've had in this wheat market. Now, just get this up here so you can see it here. You'll be able to see it easy enough. There you'll see it right there. This happens to be a 15-minute. Uh, no, it's a four-hour chart. You can see here, bada-bing. Here was limit up, limit up, limit up, limit up. And then look at this, down, 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 little 382 rally right here. As you can see, there's your first 382 rally right there. There's your second 382 rally right there. And here's where we're headed, folks, down about another 40 or 50 cents in the wheat before it finally reaches some type of a, a bottom from a technical standpoint. By then, maybe the cash wheat in Chicago will be selling at a discount to the futures, but uh, it already is because the futures uh, are behind the market because the cash wheat people still need that. When you want to start baking bread, you've got to have the wheat. And if it's not there, you've got to pay up for it. Okay, now let's go over a couple other of these. This is a this is going to be a Gartley here. And it's it's very close because we just broke the 77 level. Let's get the chart up first, Lair, so everybody can take a look at it. This is soybean oil. A lot of affinity for this contract, folks, because that's the one that got me back in the game back in 1975. 
This was the type of pattern that we had in 1975, folks. I had not traded for a year. All I did was study the Gartley book and all other kind of charts to find out what I could use. And I said, ah, this is what I like. A, B, C, D, setting at either a 61% retracement or a 382 or a 786. Give me those A, B, C, Ds all day long and I'll take them. So I would be buying there and then I sold them on the D point that went up. But here's where we are right now. You'll see the level we're looking at here is around 75 and change. We're 76.60 or 70. What I checked just a little while ago is so we're about a penny away, which is close enough, but you want to wait till it gets to that level. And then if you buy it, you risk uh, one cent in oil, which is $600. And then you'll be able to, uh, you know, get back on the game plan. Because I really believe, folks, that we're going to see $20 soybeans for the first time in our lifetime this year because we need a bumper crop, just like Rich was saying just to stay even in the world and anything that gets bad here from the united states because we export so much is going to be a mini disaster for the rest of the world that's where hunger and all this other stuff comes from and that's not good you know that's the main thing so but there's a profits to be made and okay you'll think well you're being you know you're basically taking money away from the uh, the poor people no folks when you're doing this i'm acting as an insurance broker that allows people to hedge whatever I did. If I buy something, the, par the farmer puts on a sell hedge so that I'm acting like an insurance broker. And if I sell it, he puts on a buy hedge. So that's what it's all about. It's nothing about being, you know, if you want to be philanthropic, you know, give it to your church or whatever you want to. But you're, this is a business of making money. And, and when you're doing this, speculation is a way of mitigating risk. In other words, spreading the risk over a, a whole bunch of areas. And that's, that's what you're doing. You're an intelligent risk speculator. That's what I like to refer myself as. <laughs> but that's what I am, actually. Now, let's take a look here. Uh, this happens to be the new crop soybeans. I want to show you this because this is, this, this is totally different than the July soybean chart that had the three drive to a top. The July soybeans were the ones that are uh, in the market right now. But you'll notice on this one right here, we had uh, a little bit of a butterfly pattern up in here. Uh, barely made a new high, and then you can see we backed off well over 70 cents. We're still dropping. So what we're waiting for now is to see what the next uh, next support's going to be, along with the pattern that matches up. Well, it's only one day into this, folks. So you certainly can't uh, you can't draw any conclusions on that. Now, one of the one of the things that we did on the air uh, last Friday when I was on was we were watching a uh, soybean meal. Uh, the, the beeper went off at that time because that's when I. I had to go to the uh, other machine, sneak over there, and put the order in. But you'll notice here, when you're looking at this soybeans, we were right there, folks, at uh, 434. The high was 436, a $2 risk, and it's already made well over $2,000 in one day. So that's what pattern recognition can do if you believe in it, and that's a 382, and it hit it twice. So... Uh, that's neither here nor there. The problem is if you sold it, you had to hold it over the weekend. And, of course, it opened unchanged on uh, Sunday night, uh, Tuesday night when it opened. And uh, like that would be Monday night when it opened. And, of course, it traded all the way into Tuesday. So that's it. So that's what we're watching there uh, in the soybean meal. Uh, we'd like to see some more of a correction as we get closer to it. I'm going to issue a special report. You know, showing what I think are the best and best possible trades with the setups that we're looking at. You can't be long all of them, folks. You got to pick either wheat, corn, beans, oil meal, whichever one you want to pick, and uh, you can do it. But if you realize that, then you've got to spread your risk over each of these and not, uh, you know, if you're going to make a big play, that's what you're going to have to do for sure. But for speculation purposes, you want to pick one because if you're long corn and wheat and beans, one of them is going to work better than the other, and you've got to try to pick the one that you think will be the best. So that's what our job is, is to find out which one you think is the best. How do you find that out? Buy the strongest, sell the weakness. That's what they say in the old textbooks. And believe it or not, folks, the textbooks are correct. Hold on one second here.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Okay, we're back, folks, and we have a caller. Believe it or not, I don't know how he got through. Mike, how you doing? Uh, yeah, I have a secret code, Larry. I got through through that. So ah, boy, don't I'm, tell everybody what that is. I'm looking at this cornmeal chart, and it looks like from the low on mid-May up to the high of uh, yesterday or the day before, it uh -huh. made a 618 retracement of that move just now. Am I reading this correctly? Yes, you're, you're absolutely correct. It stopped exactly at the 61% retracement. What you have to wait for now, because that 382 was so powerful, uh, you know, we could, if I, if you were in that trade, you're up well over $2,500. So you want to book some of that. And let's say, let's say you only did one contract. What you have to do is you've got to cover the one contract here and then hope that you get a little 382 retracement off of this last range here to get back in. And maybe you miss it. Maybe you have to sell a little bit lower. But when you're risking $300 and the market gives you two grand, Mike, you know, that's a seven to one risk reward ratio. And those are dream trades. So you've got to book some profits. Yeah, it's really nice. So, so you're saying that you want to wait for it to come lower or come down uh, when I, the six one again? The way I handled it myself, when I, this is what we were looking at here uh, last Friday. We were watching this pattern. Well, I was risking originally four hundred dollars. Now I've made seven, almost seven times that. So I'm willing to book that and put that in the bank because, you know, you don't get that type of risk reward in two days at all. Yes. Okay. You know what I mean? Look at look at the, look right. at the euro. If you did the euro, which is basically the exact same uh, pattern, the euro is up almost two grand already. So you can see how quickly when these patterns work, you know, they give you certain amounts of money. But you know, you 
you, you're never going to get the absolute low tick or absolute high tick, Mike. So once that trade is over, move on to the next horse and, you know, hop on and ride it to the best you can because you don't know what's going to happen next. You're never going to know that. Okay. I'm looking at getting into this um, on the long side. And do you okay. suggest well, waiting here? Yes, at this you point? certainly want to rate. The, the main reason for waiting now is that the first of all, the, the very sign was a 382. Now you've come down to the 618, but we did it in a matter of a one day. Uh, that's a lot of selling, yeah. Mike, so you got to be patient. Okay. 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 Thank you, Larry. More to follow. There'll be a video coming on in a day or so, so hang in there, buddy. Thank you, Larry. See you all tomorrow, now. folks. Stan Harley will be my guest.